Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bitewise Tech. If you're looking to break into one of the hottest fields in tech right now, cybersecurity, then this video is for you. In today's video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about cybersecurity, what it is, how it works, and most importantly, the roadmap you can follow to get started, even if you're a complete beginner. In simple terms, cybersecurity is the practice of protecting networks, devices, and data from unauthorized access or cyber attacks. Whether it's securing your personal computer or defending a huge corporation's data center, cybersecurity is all about making sure information stays private, safe, and protected. Now let's talk about how cybersecurity works. Cybersecurity isn't just one thing, it's a combination of tools, strategies, and practices designed to protect data. Here are the key components. Firewalls, these act as a gatekeeper between a trusted network and untrusted networks like the internet. They block unauthorized access while letting safe traffic through. Encryption, this is the process of converting data into a code to prevent unauthorized access. Even if hackers get their hands on the data, they can't read it unless they have the encryption key. Multi-factor authentication, MFA, you've probably seen this when logging into websites. It requires not just a password, but a second layer of security, like a code sent to your phone. MFA makes it much harder for hackers to break in. These tools work together to identify potential threats, block attacks, and minimize damage if something goes wrong. Alright, now let's get into the part you've all been waiting for how to start your career in cybersecurity. Here's a step-by-step -step roadmap to help you get started. The first step is to build a strong foundation in IT and networking. You don't need to be a hacker to start, but you do need to understand how networks and systems work. Here's what you should focus on. Networking learn how the internet works IP addresses, protocols like HTTP and HTTPS, and the basics of routers and switches. Operating systems get comfortable with both Windows and Linux. Linux is especially important in cybersecurity because it's widely used in servers and security tools. Command line learn how to use the command line. In many cases, graphical interfaces won't cut it and you'll need to work directly with the system. Once you have the basics, it's time to learn about common cyber threats. These are the kinds of attacks you'll be defending against. Malware. This includes viruses, worms, and trojans that can damage systems or steal data. Phishing. These are deceptive emails or messages designed to trick people into giving up sensitive information. DDoS attacks. Distributed denial of service attacks flood a website or network with traffic, causing it to crash. Understanding these threats will help you figure out how to defend against them. Now let's talk about certifications. Cybersecurity is one field where certifications really matter. Here are a few that are great for beginners. CompTIA Security, this is an entry level certification that covers the basics of cybersecurity. It's a great starting point. Certified Ethical Hacker CH. If you're interested in learning how hackers think and how to stop them, CH is for you. CISSP. This is a more advanced certification, but if you're looking to get into management or specialized fields later, it's a must have. Getting one or two of these certifications will boost your credibility and help you land your first job. Now that you've got some knowledge and certifications under your belt, it's time to put it into practice. There are tons of online platforms where you can practice cybersecurity skills. Try Hack Me and Hack the Box are great for hands-on labs where you can learn how to hack and defend systems in a safe, legal environment. Another option is CTFs or Capture the Flag Challenges, where you solve security puzzles and hack systems in a competitive setting. The more you practice, the better you'll get, and this experience will make you stand out to potential employers. Finally, build a portfolio to showcase your skills, whether it's creating your own blog where you talk about cybersecurity trends or documenting the challenges you've solved on TryHackMe. Having a portfolio is a great way to show employers what you're capable of. 
And that's the cybersecurity roadmap for beginners. Remember, it's all about learning the fundamentals, understanding the threats, getting certified, and practicing your skills. The world of cybersecurity is always changing, so the key is to stay curious and keep learning. If you found this roadmap helpful, make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more tech career guides and tips. Let me know in the comments what part of cybersecurity are you most excited to learn. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.